Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Weather Trends 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is Monday morning here in the East. A um, little bit of a debate here between Kirk and Spock. Um, Spock does not see the logical nature of loving snow. However, we have a uh, 60-some thousand fans here in the Northeast that uh, absolutely love snow and are a little snow deprived here since the lack of snow since the big November blizzard. Um, so again, we're working on it and uh, hang on here because I think we have some good news here for the mid-Atlantic Northeast snow lovers. Um, so hang in there. Uh, looking at uh, this week overall for the U.S., a little cooler than last year. Um, in fact, if you look at the East Coast, uh, again, quite a bit below normal along the East Coast. This time last week, uh, again, wasn't looking quite this cold. So the models, uh, even a, a week out, uh, are trending a little colder uh, than we expected here in the east. Um, overall, cooler than last year, 12th warmest in 30 years for the U.S. That makes it drier than last year, but again, 6th wettest in 30 years. And we see that conveyor belt of moisture across the deep south into Texas. Um, a lot of that precip, obviously, in the Great Lakes Northeast is just the liquid equivalent of snowfall. Um, so again, much of that in the Great Lakes Northeast is actually snow, not rain. Um, and then heavy rain actually for the west coast as well. So again, um, snowfall looks uh, promising here this week, uh, especially uh, later in the week. Most, in sn most snow potential in eight years for the U.S. overall. Jumping ahead to next week, 14 through 20 January, again, still lingering on a little bit of below normal again across the, the east coast again take this with a grain of salt because again the models are just not handling this mjo cycle and weak el nino very well as we're witnessing here this week how much colder this week is uh, expected to be versus what it was saying just a week ago uh, but overall this is a little warmer than last year uh, ninth warmest in 30 years again may not be quite as warm as depicted here wetter than last year seventh wettest in 30 years and a little bit less snow than last year for the u.s overall um, looking at the oceanic um, trends here we can kind of explain again we're very much in a weak El Nino you can see the map here on the left uh, again it is a weak El Nino to say the least um, so it's a just borderline um, map on the right is the oceanic temperatures versus last year so ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific are much warmer than last year so the pattern is very different um, and we're starting to maybe see some response to the the El Nino in the atmosphere just because you have it in the oceans doesn't always mean you you see the uh, atmospheric response but Starting to see that, uh, one of the cycles, I'm uh, not going to bore you here with this MJO cycle, but it's a kind of an oceanic uh, pulse that goes around from the Indian Ocean uh, through the Pacific. The good news is we're in phase eight. Phase eight, one and two are, for at least for the next 10 days, uh, is pretty much a cold pattern in the eastern half of the country. And we're, we're seeing that, uh, at least for the east coast. Um, the model get kind of squirrely here toward the end of this cycle as to how quickly it breaks down and uh, we think actually we may kind of see a, a weakening of the overall MGO cycle where there really is no influence whatsoever. And the good news is then that would allow the other cycles like PNA, NAO, AO, EPO, all these other cycles that you hear about um, that all tend to favor cold. So we still think that starting, you know, it's happening now, but um, the overall cycle is breaking down. So again, if you've been enjoying the, the milder trend, um, this might be about to end here. And again, just a reminder for snow lovers that want to panic and say winter's over, um, anything but. We're only 19% into winter. Uh, we have 81% of winter left. So uh, a lot of days out there here for the for the snow and cold lovers. Uh, again, this is just a depiction of uh, typically what happens in an El Nino cycle. If you're weak, which is the map far right, um, tend to be very cold in the east. So statistics suggest that we're very much headed for a probably pretty epic correction here. Um, Certainly February has always been one month that is, has about a 90% chance of being brutally cold and snowy for much of the eastern half of the country, Great Lakes, Northeast, Mid-Atlantic. Um, again, starting to see signs of that breaking down as we speak. If we were in a very strong El Nino, the map left, then obviously we'd have a very, very warm winter. So again, right now the El Nino signature is not uh, totally playing out, but uh, we expect that to shift here as we're starting to see in the, some of the cycle guidance. Um, again, so hang in there, snow lovers, our muddy, wet uh, snowman that we've had here in the mid-Atlantic East, uh, hopefully about to become a little more white. We look at the uh, model guidance, now take this with a grain of salt. This is just a model interpretation of uh, snowfall. But again, the overall trend shows we're seeing a lot more snow in the Great Lakes, Northeast, mid-Atlantic. Yes, mid-Atlantic. Uh, there is definitely a chance here with uh, the upcoming week storm here around the Saturday, Sunday, Monday time frame here next week uh, could be interesting along the East Coast. A lot of the ensemble guidance, GFS, Euro, Canadian, all hinting at a storm event. The track, obviously, this far out is a little subject to change, and that will obviously influence some of these snow totals. The good news, though, is, again, there is model consensus here that there's a storm, a couple storm events out there that could lead to some of this heavier snow for the Northeast. And then week two, again, not maybe as much, but, again, take that with a grain of salt because we're two-week snowfall looks uh, a little iffy as this pattern. But the good news is the cycle is breaking down. If you like uh, colder, snowier trends, 
We'll animate here the next eight days. Um, snowfall totals here across the U.S. You can see, the, again, big storm here next this tour this weekend. Uh, that's the one to watch. So the um, you know, 12th, 13th time frame is the, is the bigger snow event uh, in the Great Lakes Northeast. Weak system going through the, the Northeast tonight. You know, some maybe an inch here so in the Lehigh Valley here outside WT360 studio. So, um, again, hope is on the horizon here, folks. Um, this past uh, yesterday, this weekend, uh, the little one turned three. Uh, and if you don't know who Blippi is, you're so not, you don't have a three-year-old. Um, without Blippi, I don't know how we would survive. But uh, any event, the little Angelina Kirk turned three this weekend and uh, had a great birthday party. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. And we will be back here this time next week. Talk to you soon.